Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, this week we are going to be tackling skincare. So quite a few of you guys have actually sent me messages requesting that I do a skincare vlog sooner versus later, uh, since that's something that sounds like it's going to be interesting to a lot of you guys. So we're going to be starting here at the basics today with cleansing. My skin is probably best described as combination. Uh, I used to be really oily uh, when I was in high school. It's still pretty oily, but as I've gotten a little older, my, my skin has kind of toned down on some of that natural oil production and has kind of become a little more combination um, in terms of, of the oily factor. So definitely still on my T-zone are some areas that I have to watch out for and, and make sure are scrubbed. But fortunately, knock on wood, I haven't had a zit in, gosh, I can't even think when. So from someone who used to have terrible skin, that's, that's definitely a good thing. So a little bit about me and my skincare. Um, I never go to sleep without washing my face, even you know on late nights after concerts or after hanging out with friends for dinner, things like that. I never go to bed without washing my face. Even if I get in bed, I just think to myself, oh, do I really wanna do this and go to bed without washing my face knowing what I could wake up to? So, I mean, it takes me you know, 30 seconds to wash my face and I figure it's a little thing that uh, definitely improves the quality and look of my skin. So never go to bed without washing your face. Another thing, while I never go to sleep without washing my face, I also do not wash my face in the morning. Um, I've kind of been to the school of thought uh, probably for the last three years or so that if you do a good job washing your face the night before, you know, and you keep your pillowcases clean, keep those changed two, two, three times a week, you're just gonna be sleeping. And that gives your body a chance to secrete the natural oils um, that are only gonna help your skin. So do a good job washing your face the night before, keep your pillowcases clean, and then I don't wash my face in the morning. Okay, I mean, I wash it, but that's just like in the shower, just with water. I don't use any kind of cleansers or anything like that in the morning. In terms of what I'm currently using on my skin, I have my tried and true Cetaphil. This is a pretty popular product with a lot of uh, bloggers and people who are skincare aficionados. Um, I've tried a lot of things. I find that where my skin's at right now, Cetaphil does the best for me. It cleans my skin without drying it out, so I'm a definite fan. I've tried a few other cleansers in the past. Um, again, my, my skin has kind of changed now from how it used to be. I used to have a lot of problems, uh, so I would used to wash my face more with uh, glycolic acid cleansers because that's good for uh, blemishes and, and overall skin clarity, really. The one that I really liked was a cleanser called MD Forte, uh, which I was turned on to by an esthetician in Los Angeles. A uh, friend of mine whenever I was, gosh, probably 15 or 16. Um, I did a little bit of research and it does look like that one is discontinued now. But if you're interested in finding a cleanser with glycolic acid, I forget the exact percentage. I'm going to have to look into it. But I think it's around a 1.5% active ingredient of glycolic acid. Anything above that and you're probably going to have to get a dermatologist to write your prescription for it. But that's a good level. Now, if your skin does start to get too dried out, stop using that and go back to a more gentle cleanser. Uh, if you have a lot of redness or dry, irritated skin, definitely lay off the glycolic acid and acids in general and go for things that are gonna be um, a little more gentle on your skin. Another cleanser that I use quite a bit is the Charcoal Bar from Lush. That is a definite favorite of mine. Um, my skin feels super clean after I use it. However, sometimes I can kind of run into uh, my face feeling a little too dried out if I don't immediately put something uh, back on my skin in terms of, of moisturizer or serum. Two final ones that I've used before. I've used the Jack Black Men's uh, you know, facial cleanser. It's nice. I think it leaves a little bit of a, an after feel on my face, but it smells good, so there's that. Uh, but for me, it's, it's a little too scented for what I like. Another one that I've used is Don't Laugh, Meaningful Beauty by Cindy Crawford. You know, the woman is, is 50 something and looks 30, so she's gotta be doing something right. It's, you know, kind of another gentle cleanser. Um, personally, I think an SFC or a Cetaphil or something along those lines would be just as good, so. In terms of what I use to cleanse my face, I use this, it's a little sponge by Buff Puff. Um, it's called the Facial Sponge. They're really ridiculously cheap on Amazon and they come in like six packs. They do offer another version, which is great for travel. Um, they're kind of like these little individual squares, square. They're kind of like these little individual squares. They're orange, they come with the soap already in it. I used to use those, uh, but then I went through a lot of those and I really just I felt wasteful. So I'm back on the Buff Puff. It gives me great results. I do one pump of my Cetaphil on the Buff Puff, run it under some water and kind of use it like a loofah and then just circular go around my skin. I've never used a spinner brush. I know a lot of people swear by them uh, in terms of keeping your face clean. I haven't needed it, but just for right now, I can't really speak to how good or bad the spin brushes are. Honestly, for the longest time, I just use my hands to wash my face. So a couple of quick little basic tips that you can use immediately when you do wash your face. 
always work on circular motions going upward. Gravity is hard enough on our skin as it is. Don't pull your face down. Uh, that goes for washing your face, applying skin cream, serums, whatever. Always upward motion. Drink lots of water. That's gonna be a big one. Honestly, I'm super guilty about this myself. I do not drink nearly as much water as I would like to. Fortunately though, because we do split our time between Colorado and Oklahoma, I drink a lot more water in Colorado just because the air is so dry. And as a result, that's kind of gotten me in the habit of drinking more water now that I'm back in Oklahoma too. Other than that, I kind of consider cleansing your face like a workout. Um, it's gonna be great for doing a lot of basic stuff to your skin, but really it's gonna be your post-workout protein shake and any sort of recovery activities, food, etc. Uh, that's really gonna help you see the changes in your skin just like when you're in the gym. So next we're gonna be talking about oils, uh, serums, creams, things like that as we move forward um, and build up this entire skincare routine. But you know, really when it comes down to it, your skin is an organ, you need to listen to it. If it says it's dry, you know, put some moisturizer on it. Um, maybe switch up your, your cleanser if it looks like that's drying out your skin. Listen to your body because it is gonna talk to you and it is gonna tell you what's good and what's working and what's not. But thanks so much guys. Uh, I hope that this was useful. I hope you got a couple things out of it that you can implement immediately. I'm gonna put links uh, down below uh, for a couple of the products that I've mentioned if you wanna click those and uh, you know start trying those out today. Otherwise, see you guys next week.